I, I want to talk about Freddie Kitchens and, and yes. uh, uh, some decisions that he made or, or happened on his behalf. He's not getting any love anywhere. Uh, warranted, warranted or unwarranted? No, and, and you know what? He's creating this situation for himself with head scratchers every week. One of the ones I'm sure you're referring to from the Patriots game was the you know, fourth quarter, fourth and 11, yeah. punt team out, false start, fourth and 16. Baker comes out, needed to take the penalty because I didn't want to burn a timeout. It just looks and feels chaotic. Like Kitchens doesn't have a handle on what's happening around him. I, I stick to my original premise, Les, from the beginning of the year. Well, from the first couple of games. He's overwhelmed, and it hasn't changed. He still has too much on his plate, and I don't know if that's going to get better. No, John soon. Dorsey should should have taken that into consideration. He had to know something like that was going to happen. Even if he's promoting him to the head coaching position, he's got to know that uh, it's tough. He's seeing things that, that he's never seen before. I don't care, care how many years he's been in coaching. And I'll tell you one that the one that gets me, D-Man, that is – how often, How many times can the co- head coach say, that's on me, or yeah. I own up to it? You know, I've been saying it all along. You start saying it's on me, it's going to be on you. And somebody's going to have to pay the price, and I think we know who that is. Yeah, and pretty soon the players will begin to say, you know what, if it's always on you, why should I respect you? Or yeah. more to the point, why should I care as much? Because Kitchen's maybe taking the – the flack when it's a player's fault, the player will be like, "Oh, okay, I'm not getting blamed for this. Right. I'm I, good. I'll continue I don't to own skate." Up to anybody, I yeah. mean, what about this, Les? End of the third quarter at the Patriots. They uh, the the Browns send out the third quarter with a false start and usher in the fourth yeah. quarter with a false start before any snaps were made. It's unbelievable. And what also is unbelievable? Have they verified it's never happened before? Three turnovers on three consecutive plays. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's a good question, and it was crazy, especially when the first one was caused by your own offensive lineman getting flipped by their defensive player and his foot kicking the ball right. out of your running back's hands. Well, I'll tell you, as long as we're in that portion of the game, and by the way, this portion of More Sports and Less Levine brought to you by the Ohio Lottery, the, the one that just baffled me, is you're in a torrential rainstorm, which, by the way, you didn't get a feel for that if you watched it on TV. When they showed the stands and the fans up there, you could see how bad it was. But when you're watching the game, it didn't look that bad. To call a shovel pass in in those conditions is about the stupidest thing you can do, right? Or am I missing something? How about your defense holds Belichick and Brady to one first down on the opening possession, you get the ball back, and instead of handing the ball off in bad weather to Nick Chubb, you throw three times. Um, Now, the cynic would say, well, why would you give it to Chubb? He fumbled twice. I'll stop. You want to start the game with Chubb in that weather. Get you yourself don't start a couple of first the game downs. with your first possession three times throwing. But you know what that was? That was Kitchen saying, oh, I'm going to show Belichick a thing yeah. or two. He thinks I'm going to run the ball, so I'm going to throw the yeah, ball. Yeah, I think there's something to that. 